Guys, I know I've been MIA over the last few weeks and if you guys want to know in detail why that is, well, I did make a post about it on my forum and you will find a link underneath this video. But basically, it's just about me not wanting to create more white noise. I think that I uploaded a lot of content over the previous few months and I don't just want to upload content just for the sake of uploading content. That's never been what my channel is about. So I'm really just going to return to the only uploading significant information when I feel that it is important enough to discuss. That's pretty much what I was doing prior to uploading all of that content that I did over the last few months. And so that's what I will do now, though I do post every day on my forum. So if you want to see my posts and you want to see my observations on all of the events, including what just happened, the stage show that we saw with Trump a couple of days ago on the 13th of July, then you will find that on my forum. But I did just want to let you guys know that Yes, I won't be uploading every day like I was doing. I probably will be uploading um, shorts a lot more frequently, but other than really important events, I just will be posting to my forum every day. So this event though, this is definitely something that I thought was worth discussing with you guys because well, it is going to be quite significant for a couple of reasons. Now, they're calling it the largest IT outage in history. Basically, about three o'clock yesterday afternoon, that's when it hit Australia. And it started in our small town here with the two supermarkets. Basically, all of the self-checkouts went offline and got the blue screen of death. Um, Telstra, which is our largest telecommunications company over here in Australia, that got the blue screen of death. There were a few other retail outlets around town that also got the blue screen of death. So it definitely impacted us here in our small town. And we now know that it is impacting other services, the airlines, banks. Um, over in the US, I saw that it was affecting the 911 emergency services. I saw over in the UK that it is affecting some of their hospitals over there. So it's pretty widespread. It is global and it is 100% staged and 100% a beta test for what they have planned. So not only are they beta testing to see how well they can bring down the internet, they are actually also using this as another way to chip away at our supply chain because that's what they've been doing since 2020, slowly dismantling our supply chain. And I've noticed that none of the large media outlets are actually reporting on how this is going to affect our supply chain. We're starting to see the smaller media outlets reporting on this. Elon Musk, the devil's champion, basically came out with a tweet foreshadowing the that there will be a supply chain disruption with the auto industry. But if you actually Google um, IT outage supply chain, if you put this in Google News, you will see that a lot of these smaller um, media outlets and these smaller websites are now starting to relay information saying that it's going to cause problems with the supply chains worldwide, okay? Air cargo supply chain and major ports are going to be disrupted, all right? Now, the other thing that they're saying is that it's going to be a prolonged problem, okay? Recovering from the global tech outage could be a long, arduous pro, you know, process. And um, I have been posting about this. We do have a category called blackout. Um, the electricity grid and internet. If you want to check that out, we've been posting 
everything about this since yesterday afternoon. Uh, if you're in any doubt at all that this wasn't staged, well, I'm sorry. Ignorance cannot be cured if you want to remain ignorant, okay? Because we are dealing with very, very evil people and they are mocking us and ridiculing us while they play out these false flags on us. Now, Alan Woodward, a professor of cybersecurity at the Surrey University, said the economic impacts will be huge. AJ Bell was also saying that um, if there is a prolonged disruption, it's going to be another matter and potentially causing damage to companies and economies. Now, apparently this is going to be prolonged because it's not an easy fix. Some of the computers can be fixed easily. Some of the systems can be brought back online easily, but a lot of them can't. A lot of them need IT to actually go into at the system and work on the system. And it's going to take a long time. So yeah, if you're kind of wondering again, you know, if this is just something random and accidental, well, again, Ignorance is a terrible affliction and there's not a lot I can do to help you if you want to basically avoid helping yourself. But this is definitely something that they are going to do to create a lot of chaos before they reset the system. So two reasons, as I just said, first reason, beta testing the system, making sure that when they're ready to bring everything down, that it's going to happen seamlessly. Any little bugs, anything that didn't work this time when they brought the system down, they're going to go back and rectify that. Secondly, and more importantly, the supply chain is going to be impacted. Guys, it's just going to be a rolling shit show until the November 5th elections. Um, I know everyone thinks that Trump is a shoe in and I just want to warn you guys after seeing their pattern of behavior over the last decade, whenever we assume something is a certainty, they throw a curveball. So that tells me that something else is coming for these November elections and it's not going to be nice. The other thing I wanted to address is all of these people that over the years have been organizing a resistance online and organizing a resistance using the technology that these evil people in control of our world have used to enslave us and you've deluded yourself that you can actually use this technology against them then I really hope this is a wake up call for you guys about just how easy they can bring down the internet and our communications because you cannot organize a resistance against the enemy using the tools and weapons of the enemy. And that's exactly what you're doing when you believe you can use the social media platforms, regardless of whether it's Facebook or Telegram or the internet to actually organize a resistance. They are just going to be able to bring down our internet and our communications with the flick of a switch that easily. And so you're not going to be able to communicate with all of these other people that you've been hanging with online over the last few years. So we really need to snap out of this delusion that we've got this huge big circle of friends and you know brothers in arms and comrades and that we're all going to rise up against this evil cabal that has taken control of our world and our governments and our lives it's not going to happen that way they're literally going to cut all of our ways of communicate of communicating to each other and we're going to be alone this is a hermit's path guys so I suggest that you guys ready yourself for that and if you rely on others for your security and safety and to feel better about your position then you need to change that well as I said guys I will post everything underneath and um, including a link to my forum which I'm posting on every day well take care out there guys and as always, 
Peace out.